Hi Pisces, how are you? It's been a minute. This is Deanna with Intuitive D1111, Intuitive D11 underscore 11 on Instagram. And if you're here from there, welcome. I hope you all are doing well. Let's go ahead and see what's going on for love right now for Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, let's see what wants to come through. All right, so let's see. Pisces, how are you feeling about your person right now? <laughs> Pisces, this Knight of Wands one more time. And it almost wanted to come out in reverse, too. I'm like, no. <laughs> how is your person feeling about you? <sighs> okay, one more time. How is your person feeling about you? Go ahead and clarify. First, let's clarify yours. Let's clarify um, the Knight of Wands. Let's clarify the Pentacles for your person. Hey, your person wants to be tied up, Pisces. <laughs> oh, that's a different kind of reading, right? I'm here for it, though. Okay, let's let's go. So. I feel like you're feeling passionate about your person, but I feel like you feel that you don't want it to, to be just that, right? Because I feel like your partner was kind of in and out. They were not consistent with you. And I felt like, you know, they could have had, they could have been involved with multiple women. Um, but this is the will of the will of fortune here. So I really feel like at this point, you're just like, okay, I'm, I'm going to, I'm allowing the divine, I'm allowing, you know, fate to kind of step in so it's kind of like you're surrendering to what's meant to happen is going to happen with this will of fortune here um now your person they want to work on things with the eight of pentacles um i don't know if you believe them though you're kind of like eh. you know what i mean like her face on here she's like eh, i'm not sure right and um and i feel like it's because you know they want to wreck they they want to speak their truth right i think they they have something to prove to you and I feel like, um, <laughs> I had something else to say, but I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. So I'm going to keep that to myself for now. But anyways, yeah, I feel like, you know, they want to speak their truth. They want a reconciliation with you. They really want to work on things. Um, but I don't know. I'm kind of just getting the hint from you that you're just like, I don't know. Let's see more. Let's see what's going to happen for the outcome for you guys. Because I feel like, you know, you don't want to get hurt again. That's that's kind of what I'm seeing here. That energy, you know? Okay, outcome. Queen of Pentacles. There you are. You are the wifey, right? The Queen of Pentacles here. You're successful business owner, right? Mom. Taking care of many different things at once. Yeah, it's going to take time. It's going to take time, right? But yeah, Three of Pentacles. This is all about working together again, too. So I feel like you're, you're mainly right now, you're going to be focusing on yourself, mainly just, in, you know, being empowered, taking care of your family, taking care of your work, you know, your business, your loved ones. Um, could be dealing with, you know... Let's see, another water sign, another Sagittarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, did I say Sag already? Oh, we got Virgo coming through. Okay. So with the Hermit here, so typically the Hermit means you guys, the outcome is you guys might take a break because there's healing that needs to be done with the temperance. Um, but it's also, it's also meaning that you're really going to be taking this time to figure out if you even want this person, like if this is a connection you want to invest in anymore. I'm really seeing that. And I really feel like someone in this connection, like if someone was with someone else, they are just, they're having a hard time forgetting about it. Right. Cause it's like, he's looking at this candle and he's thinking about, you know, the person he loves with somebody else. So I feel like if there was any type of infidelity, I really feel like this person has something to prove and they know it. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so I see that here. So there's some type of, um, you know, inner soul searching that needs to happen, right? So if you guys are on a break, that will help to actually heal this connection. 
what else? We got the Hermit, Temperance here, Queen of Pentacles. Those are these are all cards of of waiting. These are not action cards. So I, I believe we kind of have our answers there, to be honest. So let's go ahead and get love messages from your person, Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What does your love interest want to tell you? What do they want to tell you, Pisces? I'm afraid to take the next step right now. Up, oh, but they know that they made a huge mistake, right? It says, I know I made a huge mistake. I feel too much pressure right now. But you still hold a piece of my heart. Hmm. It sounds like your person is making excuses. <laughs> I can't stand that. But, you know, I mean, that's human nature. But, yeah, it, you know, it's... <sighs> yeah, they're feeling weighed down right now. And that's exactly why they're going to be in hermit mode so that they can take time, both of you, you know, can take time to heal this connection and really see what it is you want, right? And get that balance back. And then it says, I miss the feel of you next to me. I bet they do. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move into the, um, that was the twin flame journey deck. What was that? The second volume. This is the first volume over here for the Mystic Moon Oracles. And then this is by Tara by Elizabeth or at the Pretty Psyche on Instagram. All right, Pisces, what does your love interest want to tell you? What do they want to tell you? Tell me what you love about me. Oh my gosh. Are some of you dealing with the Leo? Somebody just has to have validation here. They're, you know, they are really insecure. It says, I want you to know I am supportive of you. So that's beautiful energy. So it's like they want you to know that they are there for you or they support, you know, your goals or your dreams. So we like that. What else? For Pisces. From their love interest. What do they want to tell you, Pisces? Hope it's good. Let's see. Oh my goodness. We're going to grow old together. So if you thought you were getting rid of them, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, they are invested. Okay, and then I want to do sweet things for you. Okay. And then I promise I will treat you better. Okay, we're going to see if they hold up to that promise, right, Pisces? <laughs> okay, let me get a few messages here from my deck. Let's see. How does your love interest go for you, Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, we had a few that flew out. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, spicy ones. All right. It says, I want to kiss you while I make love to you. All right. We have, I hear every thought and see every picture that you send me. So we got that telepathic communication going on here. Love it. It says, I secretly want a new start with you. But I don't know why it has to be a secret though. <laughs> All right, how does Pisces love interest feel for them? It says, your spirit animals meet me daily. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love this card. So that means that you're very connected because your spirit animals are, um, they're not just protecting over you, they're protecting over them too. So I really love that. Bottom of the deck, they are missing you, Pisces. All right, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button for me as well as subscribe and check out your um, sun, moon, rising, north node, your other placements, okay? And if no one has told you yet today, I love you. You are amazing. And I'm so glad that you are here with me. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.